little tap from Higgins tells you what a good shot that was. Yeah, now it's important that John gets the gap here between probably yellow and brown. And he's got it. The reason for that is the red on the right-hand side, that was the one he wanted to cover, but I think Ding can get through to it. Always got to be careful, though, when you're pushing this red across the table. <clears throat> yeah, that pink's causing him a bit of a problem here, John. Can't afford to give up the next opportunity. He has his own academy in Sheffield where he bases himself and practices. I know a lot of the other pros go there. Ken knows it well. Very nice uh, facility. Four. Five. I've got to be honest, that does surprise me. Play. I mean, even if it was perfect on the pink, very surprised he didn't just go back for bulk colour off that. Such a tough shot, that pink. Ginger and we, five. One. Oh, John. Oh. Seven. Uh, send a break. John Higgins, seven. Surely he's not taking the black on. He never credit and he might well knock it in, but this is odds against for me. Wow. Dungeon we won. As I say, I mean ten out of ten for being aggressive, but did he have to play that? Especially given that John's made a mess of a few opportunities so far, the last thing you want to do is gift him One. an opportunity as good as this. Eight. Nine. John Higgins. Gee. John Higgins, nine. I think that is maybe the easiest shot I've ever seen him miss. Doing nothing with a cue ball. It's just concentration. One. Bad sign for anyone missing a ball like that. Nine. Seventeen. Now he should have a chance here off a low loose red to bring the other two into the game. Low straight, which he should get. Oh, he's playing to lift them now. Well played. <laughs> yeah, he obviously had the absolute optimum angle. And the other thing is, he doesn't need the blue to make this frame secure. 
32. 33. Yes, any colour will suffice off this last red. Didn't get the zip on the cue ball, still on it. 40. Forty-one. Well, you see Higgins miss a ball like that pink. You wonder if there's any way back. Forty-five. Have to really pick himself up, isn't he? Forty-six. Fifty. Fifty four. <laughs> Ding Jin away. Fifty four. Higgins had a chance. Ding took on that very risky black along the top cushion. But in short order, Higgins missed Ding, a much easier five. pink to the opposite <laughs> corner. And it's cost him. Ding with a 54 break. He followed the 53 in frame three. And he's on the brink of victory. Higgins with all sorts of problems, trailing by three frames to one. Cracking pot, nicely judged cannon. Eight. Well, it's not like he's never done it before, is it? He's done it plenty of times and it sort of clears the mind, doesn't it? When you're on the brink of defeat, point of no return. Nine. Yeah, quite a big shot this I minute. Mean, it looks like the pink spot's covered. So, yeah, you see it there. So this would go back in the black spot. Sixteen. I'm afraid it's just <laughs> one of those days, okay, he's still on this red and I think he has reached the point where if he gets, certainly for this frame and, and potentially the next frame, if he gets a look at anything, he's not in a mood to refuse. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Nah, it's not happening. It just ain't happening, I'm afraid. For whatever reason, again, no mood for refusing. Every credit, one shot. Almost trying to pull his way out of the... That's the way he's feeling, the negativity that he's probably feeling right now. Just playing on instinct and, well, aggression, really. 36. <coughs> 42. May stay for blue. Yeah, lost the cue ball again. John Higgins, 43. 
The only good news is he didn't get into the pack there, but just another sign that just not his day. I mean, he kept it going well with the blue, but you can see the frustration burning in his face. Doesn't want a touching ball here, John, where that green is. Let's see then. Touching ball. Mm hmm. Just the, the green there was the sort of alarm bells were, were ringing. Not this time. It's not getting any better, is it? It's getting worse. Where's the let off that, Biggins? One. Eight. Nine. Yeah, the one thing that you must do, and, and you know that John will, is make the other guy earn the victory. You know, John's not going to just roll over and almost submit the feet. He's, he'll, you know, he'll keep trying, even although Six, he's eight. definitely not feeling it. His game's not in good nick. 17. 22. Well, didn't, I may well look back an hour or so's time, ruining that missed opportunity. He was left a red, didn't pot it. And it looks like 3 2. Higgins is not playing well, but he's got two frames on the board, and the match is not over yet. And the great champions, the other thing is they're not too 36. proud to win ugly. You know, John won't mind this. <laughs> you know, it's a part of them, it's an, other That's players it. that are on the tour will know this, what I'm about to say, that sometimes you play them and, and if you don't put them away, in his mind it'll be, well, all right, pal, if you don't want this, I'll take it. Regardless of performance or anything else like that, he um forty four. He'll be giving it his all. To be sure of that. Forty five. Fifty two. Fifty three. John Higgins, fifty three and different. So fifty three second half century. Of the afternoon again he's given some help didn't miss to red bottom line john higgins is still in this things lead is cut for just three two possible two frames remain horrible miscue how significant could that be john higgins four what a gift for Higgins this is. Just what he needed. One. This could be 3-3 three, three in about 10 minutes. That's how quickly things can turn around. Nine. John Higgins, nine. Well, just as things 
We're starting to look up another very strange Miss Black off the spot. Add it to the list. One. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, going back to that black that John missed, I think everyone in the arena was thinking, how has he missed that? I think John's thinking exactly the same, and none of us have, have a scooby, quite frankly. How has he missed that? Dear me. Eight. Nine. Oh, that was a, don't want to be you know, harping on about that, but that was a quick one, there was no acceleration. Okay. Here it is again, he was getting no work on the cue ball at all. Danger in a way, 16. Unfortunately for Ding there, I think as well, he, he took that on an emotion rather than logic and... Alright, he's covered it, but there is a, an, an alternative. Might this be the shot that sparks him into a bit of form, this blue? better shot than it looked at to control the cue ball and uh, he's got the half ball green I don't think brown's any good green ball green it is then playing a cannon on the pink that's the target yeah too deep too deep no good ten John Higgins ten It's a bit dicey this, he doesn't really want to go two cushions and get the red. It's probably what he's playing. They'll be having another go at it. Four. No miss. Danger in way four. Once again, for a player of John's class, that is, well, that basic, that safety shot. Now then, ding. A golden chance. One. Six. Seven. Twelve. Obviously plenty of reds to drop on, he'd love to get rid of the one that is almost touching the pink. 18. 19. 
26. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. I don't think John Higgins will look back on this match with much fondness, assuming he does lose it. You can take losing, but the unforced errors, the mistakes he made, just add up to a, a sense of well, disappointment in recent times. Those two close finals he lost. Thirty-seven. So he's got one more good shot to play. Just drag back and get this one with hand on the bed. This is the shot then. 43. But is there a twist? One. Well, if there is to be a twist, he's going to have to put a fantastic black. These are nasty. Can he find one? Oh, you bet he can. What a shot. They're all there. Well, he must wonder how the match is continuing, but this is where players like John Higgins come to life. No matter what's happened already, this is where he senses his blood. He knows it should have been over. 16 18 He's made a lot of unbelievable clearances In his career This wouldn't be one of those but In terms of the match 21. And the way he's played today it would be some effort. Twenty-five. Played that nicely. Just has to beat the blue, and it has. Missed it. John Higgins needs this black. Slight cutback, but he needs this black. We're going into a decider. Remarkable. Once again, he steps in and he makes the clearance. It looked for all the world like Ding was the winner. He couldn't kill it off. John Higgins steps in and we have one more frame to decide it. We're level at 3 3. So, Ding 
leaves a chance from the break off. Higgins knocks it in. Is this the moment where he produces his best snooker of the match? You might lose form, you might lose confidence. But what John Higgins will never lose is the know-how of how to get the job done. Like that clearance, two red clearance in the tail end of the last frame. It almost doesn't matter what's gone before when that well. situation arises. He just looked like he was going to clear up. Might not be too bad. 18. The middle red of the three together. I think you can top this through for pink. Get this, he's going to be looking good. Yeah. 19. Okay, cue ball almost welded to the side cushion wasn't part of the bargain. Now, there's a big shot coming up. Nasty diagonal across the nap. John Higgins, a nasty 19. One. one of those, if he was dropping it in, he'd get it, well, at least 9 out of 10, but he had to inject that pace. Made the pot more difficult and the pocket tighter, Chan Sting. Considering the bolt colours were on there, that was poor. Now is he looking for two cushions in between yellow brown? No good. That is not good at all. Alright. There is room round the back of the black to perhaps get back up for blue, but definitely should have been above the blue line. Thirteen. Thirteen. So the beach had a chance, and there's just six points in it. You just feel it's going to be a very tense finish. See what's been a tense afternoon here. Now here's a half chance. Might go deep on the cue ball. I think this right above the black goes. Yeah, I think he's going deep. Swing the cue ball round the corner. Yellow, maybe. Oh, where's the red? Needs some help and cover, and he ain't got it. Chance John Higgins, and it's a very good one. In fact, they go as far as to say in a decider. They don't come much better than this. One. Now you can see that burning intensity back in his face. The, the sight of the winning line coming into view. He'll feel he'll have to play better against O'Sullivan Six. if he wins. You know, it's only two weeks since he beat him in the semis of the English Open. Seven. John Higgins, it's his 27th consecutive season in the elite top 16. He's never dropped out in that time. Thirteen. He had match ball in the last frame. Thirteen. 
Fine, three reds then, and three colours needed. The siege on into tonight's group final, quarter final, call it what you will. But yeah, as David said, he, he never lose the know how. And I actually do think his failure to win the match against Neil Robertson 10 days ago has stood him in good stead for this break alone, this one effort. Really determined not to make the same mistake again. Plans at the scoreboard tells him this black puts him 40 in front. 51 on, red and a colour. To complete what would be a remarkable win. Red just a little bit tricky. 34. Yeah, <laughs> and he knows it. He can't reach it with his hand, I don't think. Maybe having lost a bunch of LBs, he's got a half chance of it, but with the rest, this is going to be awkward. Very awkward. <laughs> Doesn't look any fun, this Alan. No, it. Yeah, he's like, no, no, no wonder he's laughing. It. This is one of those unbelievably awkward situations. Can he reach it? Even with the extension on, this is a real stretch. <clears throat> now what? Try and send the red over towards the other one. That's the way. That's the shot. John Higgins, 34. Leads by 40 with a possible 51 on, but he's got in snookered on all of them. Just. Now what John wants to do here is stop Ding releasing the two in the left, but to do that he needs the cue ball on the left half. See that's the thing, he's, he's given Ding, well, some chance of releasing them. to risk the red going near the left corner because if he misses the blue with the cue ball he's bound to have cover that'll do good black for John Stays out. Ding survives. He had his chance, didn't he, in that last frame? Yeah, match ball. Higgins made a, a really steely clearance. He needs this red, and it looks like he's through. Oh. One. Never knows he's beaten. There was a loud bang there, which Dunning no, helped, one. to say the least. So it's one snooker required. And the balls are in good spots for snookers, let's be honest.
सर Seven. Nearly good snooker. Yeah, this might be a good one coming up. Well played. <laughs> it's not a big target. That pink's looking large, looming large on the line that dings after. Paul. John Higgins, well, Paul. I think that's it. That's a concession. Right. He had his chance, didn't he? Couldn't kill it up in the last round. John Higgins came good when it mattered to set up a clash of the snooker titans tonight with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Higgins beats Ding Junhui 4-3.